Hello there, truth seekers. Fellow critics, Ben here, your go-to source for all things royal drama. Today, we've got a jaw-dropping lineup from Meghan's PR troubles to Harry's visa struggles and even a glimpse into William's recent escapades with hot dogs. So grab your popcorn and settle in for another wild ride through the tumultuous world of British royals. But before we dive in, a big shout out to you subscribers. If you haven't joined the fam yet, hit the subscribe button. You won't want to miss a beat. All right, let's jump into the chaos. So, first up on our Royal Roller Coaster is Meghan Markle's latest quest to relaunch herself in the UK. Imagine the audacity, a report suggesting that Meghan has been rejected by every PR firm in the UK. Why? Well, it seems she and Harry have a reputation for not listening to advice. Surprise, surprise, from Ashwell to Netflix, their know-it-all attitude has been their downfall. And now, as Meghan tries to penetrate the UK market, PR gurus are hesitant to work with her. Good luck, Meg. You might need it. And those noise reduction earmuffs too. Now let's talk about Harry's ongoing visa saga. US officials are under pressure to hand over immigration papers to a judge who will decide whether to make them public. Judge Carl Nichols has deemed the privacy argument insufficient and set a deadline for the Department of Homeland Security. The clock is ticking and in roughly two weeks we might discover the truth behind Harry's visa application. Did he lie or was it someone else's crafty work? But wait, there's more. The news has surfaced that Meghan wants to relaunch her brand or career in the UK despite being rejected by PR firms. She's determined to battle her popularity problem in Britain. However, her reputation for not listening to advice precedes her, making the journey to UK stardom a rocky one. It seems Meghan has struggled to make a mark in the US market and speculation suggests it's due to a lack of substance and projects. Perhaps it's time to focus on more than just being in the spotlight. Now on to William's recent escapade with a hot dog. The Duke of Cambridge was spotted at the Oval, getting his hands on a hot dog. The pictures show a relaxed, confident William, sparking mischievous smiles. Despite the jokes circulating about his hot dog, it's refreshing to see William in command enjoying some downtime. And for those asking about Catherine, she's at home. Let's not jump to conclusions. She's doing well, and William's happiness is proof of that. But the real highlight is Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, delivering a heartfelt speech for Edward's 60th birthday. While I can't share the video, part of the transcript captures the essence of her words. It's touching to see the royal family coming together. As for James Middleton, some critics are questioning the timing of the memoir release, considering the recent buzz around Catherine's absence. However, the memoir, titled Meet Ella, the dog who saved my life, seems to focus on James's therapy dog and has little to do with the family drama. In conclusion, the royal world is chaotic blend of rejected PR plans, visa uncertainties, hot dog adventures, and heartfelt speeches. Stay tuned for the next one, guys. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.